Hi. All right. It is week seven and we are doing the yellow book called Floozle Dreams. And remember, it is fantasy. So it is fiction. Yes, it is fake. Um, all right. I like these pictures. Like it looks like they're playing like basketball. Looks like they have like a jet pack on. Hmm. This one seems like it'll be a nice fun book. All right, Floozle Dreams. Chapter 1. Donald Lopskill's Floozle Dreams. And if you look, it has the apostrophe S, which means he's owning the Floozle dream. So it's his dreams about Floozle, which we do not know what Floozle is yet. But hopefully as we start reading, we will. Donald Lopskill settled back into his chair. What would you like to know, Zane? He asked. I'm doing a school project. I have to interview someone who has an interesting life, I said. Why did you run for state governor? This word governor here, a governor is kind of like the president. Um, our governor, there's a governor for each state. Um, and he kind of helps make laws. He helps make sure people are following the laws. And right now, during all this time that we're at home, our state governor um, is... DeWine, and he has been on TV almost every day at two o'clock talking about some of these things that are going on with us, like staying home and, and different things. So it looks like in our story here that Donald Lopskill would be the governor, and then Zane would be the little boy doing the school project. So when you're looking at the picture here, this would be Donald Lopskill, this would be Zane, and it says Zane's school project is to interview someone who has an interesting life. All right, let's keep reading. The old man smiled and said, I ran for governor because of the game Floozle. You played Floozle, sir? I was astonished or surprised. I checked that my hologramizer was working. This interview might be very interesting. Okay, so Floozle, we figured out, is a game. Maybe that's the game we saw on the cover. And the hologramizer, that's this thing that he's holding. Um, it must be something that, like, records. And then it looks like um, it's something, too, that can pull up kind of, like, pictures over here on this page. All right, let's keep reading. Yes, I played Floozle, said the ex-governor. Oh, ex-governor. Prefix X. Yeah, no more. So ex-governor. So he was the governor, but he's not anymore. And you can call me DL. Mrs. Lopskill brought in some iced tea. Why don't we show Zane some old holograms from our archive? She suggested. Good idea, Jaina, DL said, and he quickly flicked on a hologram. So this is called a hologram, this thing that pulls up this picture. And remember, it's fantasy, so these are kind of fun, um, and they're fake. And then archive means, like, storage. So from our archive, meaning something that's already happened, they're pulling it out. That's me, DL said, pointing at number eight. Then I broke my leg. I couldn't play Floozle anymore, but I wanted to help the sport. The governor wouldn't build a new Floozle stadium in Astoria, so I ran for governor. So you became governor because of Floozle? I asked. Yes, DL replied. I dreamed of hosting visiting teams at the governor's mansion. It was a close race, said Mrs. Lopskill, but he won. All right, so we have a stop and check. But before we do that, let's look. Okay, here it is. Here's the governor. Here's DL. And then look at the date, October 2082. So past, present, or future that this is set in. Future. And we also know that too because it looks like it's kind of like basketball but in the air. And do we have that now? 
No. All right, so let's go back. Why did DL run for governor? Let's make sure we restate. If you're doing this paper pencil, go ahead and um, get your paper pencil so you can write the answers down and send me a picture of them. If we're going to do it together when we um, do our video chat, just make sure you're still kind of writing it down so you know what you want to tell me, okay? All right, how do I restate? Very good. DL ran. We have to change run to ran for governor because, and then tell me why. Tell me why he ran for governor. Remember, if you need to pause or you need to go back, it is on this page. Chapter two. Jaina Lopskill's Ideas. I met Jaina the year I became governor. We got married, D.L. said. Jaina taught elementary school back then, and she was disappointed her students couldn't use the new Fluzel Stadium. Why not? I asked. You had to be 18 to play The flu blocks we used for flying were dangerous. Jaina persuaded me to spend some state money on playgrounds and sports for children. DL showed me another hologram. That's me at a new playground. The children wanted me to try everything. I had a whale of a time, DL said, chuckling. Then I found something else that urgently needed me, Mrs. Lopskill explained. It happened when we stopped for lunch at Lake Astoria one day. The lake water was filthy, D.L. said. What's filthy? Yeah, dirty. So the lake water was dirty, D.L. said. We were horrified when we realized that the water we drank came from the lake. Mrs. Lopskill said, I urge D.L. to have the lake cleaned up. And did you? I asked. The lake was dirty because Horace Bumble's factory was polluting it. D.L. replied, I told Bumble the state of Astoria wouldn't tolerate it. That means they're not going to put up with it. They're not going to accept that it's dirty because of the factory. I intended to close his factory unless he stopped it from polluting the water. Why did, what did Bumble say? I asked. D.L. answered, Bumble said he could do what he liked. Then he ran against me for governor. What happened, I asked. Well, that got under my skin. I couldn't let an opponent like Bumble beat me. I wanted to win a second term as governor so that everyone could have clean drinking water. D.L. frowned and said, It was a nasty campaign. Bumble told people that I wanted to close every factory in Astoria. So a campaign remembers where they're kind of... Um, persuading the people they're having the speeches they're talking back and forth they're wanting people to vote for them so his opponent mr bumble was telling people that dl wanted to close every factory in astoria was that true is that what he wanted to do no he just wanted to make sure that bumble's factory stopped polluting the water right he wanted to make sure everybody had clean drinking water good all right, stop and check. Why did DL decide to run for governor again? Make sure we restate. Yep, DL decided to run for governor again because, and then you tell me what he wanted this time. Remember, if you have to pause or go back, Chapter 3, A Great Governor. Mrs. Lopskill said, D.L. had an overwhelming victory, and the lake was cleaned up. I was weary afterward, but I still worked hard. I set up a chat hour, D.L. said. People told me about their problems. They could tell me about a school that needed new classrooms. He was a great governor, Mrs. Lopskill said proudly. D.L. smiled. I loved being governor because I was able to make life better for people. D. 
Deal said, I loved it so much that I nearly missed the first Fluzel Cup final in the new stadium. I was opening the Renewable Energy Transportation Company. It's famous now for making safe, clean transportation. Like my power pack, I asked. Yes, the company employed everyone from Bumble's closed factory. That was a great day. So he's saying that the new factory that they opened up was renewable energy, and it hired all the people that worked for Mr. Bumble because that factory had to close to make that clean water. I asked, what was the best thing about being governor? DL looked thoughtful. I liked making sure that the drinking water was clean and creating new jobs. I also learned how important it was to listen to people who had good ideas. He lifted his iced tea and saluted his wife. It was a great place to finish the interview. I thanked DL and Mrs. Lopskill. Then I blurted out, It's a great stadium, sir. It's my dream to play Fluzel there one day. DL grinned. That's wonderful, Zane. What position do you play? I play top flyer, I said. I scored four goals last weekend. Great, DL said. Then he stood up and click-clacked his walking stick across the wooden floor to, his clo- to the closet. This is for you, Zane, he said. He gave me a ball signed by the Astorian Fluzel team of 2091, the first winners of the Donald Lopskill Cup. What does DL believe were his greatest achievements? Achievements is like something that he did, he accomplished. Um, So what is something that he thought he did really well at being governor? Let's restate. So DL believed that his greatest achievements were, so what were, and it says achievements, we need more than one. So we need something and something. What were like the two things that he said he did really good at when he was governor? All right, that is all you guys have to do for that book. And I can't wait to see your answers. Awesome, awesome job. And we'll talk more about the book when I call you guys. Talk to you later.